Hey, it's Olivia from ConvertKit, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make changes to your visual automations without interrupting any current subscribers going through those automations. As you may know, we recommend against making any major changes to your visual automations once they're already up and running, and that's to avoid interruptions to current subscribers going through them. However, there may be times when you have to make changes, and there is a way that you can safely do so. The first step is to make a new placeholder form. You don't have to worry about the settings or configuration of this form because nobody should ever actually be seeing or using it. Once this new form has been created in your account, go ahead and save it and then head on over to the automation that you want to make changes to. From here, I'm going to add my placeholder form as a new entry point to this automation, and then I'm going to delete all of the other entry points so that the placeholder form is now the only way to enter this automation. Since this placeholder form is not going to be embedded anywhere, so nobody new can sign up to it, that also means that nobody new will be able to enter this automation at all from now on. So we can actually leave this old version of the automation running until all of its current subscribers complete it. That leaves you free to recreate this automation or duplicate it and work off of the duplicate and set the new version to have the correct entry points. You're effectively phasing out this old version and replacing it with a brand new version with your changes applied. And since the new version will have the correct entry points, that means that new incoming subscribers will enter that version instead of this one. If you're looking for a bit more guidance, we actually have an entire article in our knowledge base explaining this process. But of course, let us know if you need any help. 